Hello, in this screencast, we're going to create a database in FileMaker 15. Let's get started. Select File, New Solution. It's going to ask for a name. The name we're going to give this is Student Information. I'm going to save it to my desktop so we can see it. Say Save. Here it is. It brings up a blank table. In the table, we're going to add some fields. To add fields, we're going to use our field picker. The field picker allows us to add the, act the necessary We're going to select new field, and we're going to add some fields. We're going to go first. It's going to be a text. Last. Address. city, state, zip code. The zip code I'm going to change from text to a number field. We're going to add a comment section and this is going to go back to a text. We'll add a few more fields. The next field is going to be the year. So we want freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. I'm going to add another field, and it's going to be a creation field. That's going to become a timestamp. I'll explain that in a little bit. The next field is going to be a modification. It's also going to be a timestamp. The last field is going to be an ID field. So the ID field is going to drop, is going to become a number field. Now that we have all of the fields, I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to select the first and everything should be highlighted. With everything highlighted, I'm just going to drag it into my table. And now I should have all of the fields here. I'm going to select off. I'm going to select year, year, creation, creation, modification, modification, ID, and ID. What I need to do is I need to open up my comments field. So I'm going to down arrow a little just to give myself some space for my comments. I'm going to deselect and I'm going to select the comments box. And I'm going to drag that down a little bit. Now that I'm satisfied with the way this looks right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit my layout by selecting exit layout in the top right corner here. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to say save and here we are. Now that the layout has been created, it says student information here. I need to go into the database just to um, tighten up a few things. So I'm going to go to file, manage, in database. So where we created our creation date, where we have our creation date, I want the system to automatically update that timestamp. So I'm going to select creation. I'm going to select options. And it says creation up at the top here. I'm going to select creation. And I don't want anyone to be able to modify it. So I'm going to select prohibit modification of value during data entry. I'm going to say OK. Creation timestamp, date and time, can't modify auto. So I'm going to do the same thing with modification. I'm going to select options, modification, and prohibit modification. I'm going to select OK. Same message, just changes from modification to creation, vice versa. I'm going to select ID, which is a number. I'm going to select options, and I'm going to select serial number and I'm going to say prohibit modification. The reason for the serial number is with multiple records something has to make it unique and what makes it unique is on creation it increments the number by one. So I'm going to say OK and I'm going to say OK and these fields should populate automatically when we create a record. So let's test that theory. When I select new record 
here is the modification creation and ID so when I add a student and that's record number one. To add another record, I select New Record. The information changes to ID number two. And just because we will add one more record. and now we have all of our records. Now, if I wanted to scroll through my records, I can select the arrow that pushes me back and forth through my records. Or I can use the slider that is here that will slide me through my records. If I wanted to make a change to any record, notice my modification and my creation date. If I select to change the if I decide to change the zip code, if I change it from 01 to 02, click off, you should see the modification time changes. I hope this screencast has been helpful. Thank you for viewing.